Hello again, Taylor Tots. This is video number two for today. Um, so let's get it back together. Um, today we're going to be talking about this idea of concentration and molarity. Um, one of the big things that we discussed um, a few videos ago when I was doing the online tutorial is this idea of a solute and solvent. Now, that's a really, really big thing. The solvent, right, is going to be what you are going to dissolve your solution in. Apologize for not doing that the right way. And our solute, our solute is what's going to dissolve. In this case, I got some tea set up kind of right over there. And we're gonna add that to this and see kind of what happens to it. Again, wrong way with the zoom, my bad. So, first off, really quick review. Again, solvent does the dissolving, solute is dissolved. So for example, Solvents can be water, your oils, your um, whatever kind of liquid you're using. Primarily, your solutes are going to be whatever chemical you're using, salt, sugar, this tea, Kool-Aid, any chemical you're using again. And that's kind of really how that works. But I wanted to show you kind of an example of something that would have a high concentration and a low concentration. Because this is used a lot, a lot in foods. We've all had food that's been too spicy. For example, going into my kitchen, I could tell you that this hot sauce, not spicy at all. Very vinegary based. You can almost tell by the color, it's not that bad. This is a little bit darker. You could tell it's a little bit spicier. And I'm sure that a lot of you could tell based on how dark this sauce is. This one's gonna be a little spicier. This one has ghost peppers actually in it. Um, so you can tell a lot of it by color and looking at it. So I'm gonna test this really quickly. I got some tea in here and I'm gonna have this. And we're gonna let it sit for a little bit. Okay, that's enough. And for number two, We're gonna be having it sit a lot longer. Now, one of the things that's really cool about this is the idea of time. Um, we have a lot more time to kind of work with these things. And I am off screen cheating a little bit. Um, because again, I, I know you guys kind of get the picture. If I'm letting it sip and sit a little bit, It is gonna take a lot of time and I don't have a lot of time on this video. So, with this, we're gonna try that. And we'll kinda of go from there. Wife! Yes. My wife is playing a new Nintendo Switch game that a lot of you know about, but I don't want anything happening with the copyright, so I'll let you guess what game she's been playing. So, her job is to guess what flavor tea this is based on that. Now, I'm gonna have her try this first one that has a very low amount of solute in it. Again, you saw me put the tea in here, try this. She's trying right now, she won't be on camera. How's that taste? Tastes like water. Tastes like water. Any, any guess on what this tea is? No. No. Can you guess what this one is just by the color? Green tea. Green tea. That's your guess? We'll is see it if like you're right. Flavor? We'll see. Okay. See if you can figure it out. Do you it's think you mixed? Look, there's like It is mixed. Um Try it. I can smell it. I can smell it more than anything. Oh, I can smell it too. Yeah, because this one you could even tell. This one would have a high concentration because it has a higher amount of solute, AKA I let it sit in there longer. This is that really watered down Kool-Aid we know about. This is that red drink or that some of you know about. So, were you able to tell at all from this what it is? No. What about this one? Yes. What is it? Apple. Apple? Guess again. I <laughs> thought was cinnamon apple. That's what it smelled like. It's got cinnamon. Cinnamon's a big part of it. I really like this cake. Uh, oh, carrot cake. Carrot cake is correct. And those of you that didn't know, 
Ta-da! Care Cupcakes. So, we're going to transfer over, and we're going to start to look at things a little bit differently. So I'm just going to pick this up, go through my kitchen. You guys didn't get 100 views yet on that one video, so you guys don't get to see the plant babies. But let's bring this topic back a little bit to chemistry. Again, concentrations, we can tell a lot based on color. So this is gonna be a low concentration, where this one that's a little bit darker in color, probably has a little bit more in it, that's gonna have a high concentration. And when I'm saying concentration and molarity, molarity is the concentration of a solution. It's how strong the solution is. But molarity is bringing in everybody's favorite topic, math yes. and my wife is really happy about that so i'm gonna do some math with them are you excited yes. very happy about that okay so that was just a little bit of review again of solute and solvent so again i'm gonna write that because we have a little bit of time solute what dissolves solvent does the dissolving, okay? And at any time you want to freeze, please do that, okay, or pause the video. Now, again, a molarity is going to tell you how strong it is. And there's a few good things about that, okay? Um, I'm not going to lie. One of the big things that's going on in the world is this whole coronavirus thing. Um, and it's very important. Uh, medicines are very, very, very important. And a lot of the reasons um, why chemistry is so important for the medical field is molarity and the equation I'm about to show you. Um, you don't want a doctor prescribing a medicine that's too strong or too weak for you. I said this numerous times this school year. And a matter of fact, this topic that's on the board right now for you is probably the number one reason why people actually can't be doctors. Um, I was at a professional, oops, I'm sorry, fixing the camera a little bit for a, a few seconds from now. Um, I went to a conference at IMSA once and I was talking to a bunch of uh, nursing professors and they all said the number one reason why they, you know, people couldn't handle grad school or med school or whatever it was, was because of calculations like this. Now again, they're a little more advanced than what I'm showing you now, but what I'm showing you is the base of it. So molarity is a bunch of math, and here's our equation. Molarity equals moles of solute, so what I put in by liters of solution, how much was I putting it into? So essentially when you're making Kool-Aid, how much Kool-Aid are you putting in? How much water are you using? And then it has to be liters. Okay, and as a reminder, and as moles. Okay, so just don't forget that, same as gas laws. So Mole Island might come back up. Okay, Mole Island can't, might come back up. As a reminder for Mole Island, moles is grams divided by your molar mass. So without really further ado, I'd like to get into one practice problem. You guys have practice problems on the website, so we're gonna trust that you do that. I think I only posted like um, six, seven practice problems, so they're not a lot. But I mean, if you can do those, you're good. I mean, this doesn't have to be rocket science right now. It's not supposed to be. I don't want it to be. So we'll kind of go from there. And I do apologize. I'm adjusting my camera right now because I feel like I'm shaking it too much. So I apologize. Cool. So the problem. If I add, uh, how many grams do you want me to add, wife? 47. If I add 47 grams of calcium chloride to a 3.8 liter bucket of water, what is the molarity? Well, I have my equations. So let's give the problem a start. So first thing I need to do is I notice that this says grams. It doesn't say moles. It says grams. So that's no good. So the first thing I need to do is I need to be over here. Now I know I have 47 grams and the molar mass for calcium chloride, Ca. CL2, that's going to be 111 grams. The way I got this is it's the molar mass, CaCl2, and that's going to be 40 plus 71. And 
really quickly, getting my calculator out. 47 divided by 111 is 0.4234 moles. Sorry about that. Sorry for a lot of the motion in the video. Well, now we can plug it in this equation. Moles equal 0.4234 moles. I'm in 3.8 liters, and again, it is liters. So that's liters. That's liters. So we're good to go. So this divided by 3.8. Concentration equals 0 0.1114 molar, which is overall, I would say, a pretty weak solution. So this would be definitely like number one in the back. So just wanted to show a really quick example problem. Give you a second to pause that if you'd like. Um, and really kind of go from there. Uh, this is video number two. Just wanted to do a quick little intro. Do another short little video and we'll be good to go. Thanks so much, guys.